Hello everyone, welcome back to the ICT Technocrat and in this video I'll show you how to hack into a target device. Now before I even start, I'd like to highlight something. Hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, there's no telling how long you spend in prison. So just be careful. So let me go to my Parrot OS, which is right there. Go to my Parrot OS and let me go to my terminal. Alright, so let me just type in IPA. Now, my, my PC and the target device are on the same Wi-Fi network. So let me just, right here, I'm copying the IP address for this same Wi-Fi network. So let me just copy this IP. Now, I'm going to use a tool called NetDiscover to basically check how many devices are connected to this, to this same Wi-Fi network. So just type in sudo netdiscover-r, then paste this IP right there. Once I paste it, click enter. Now, once you click enter, it will show you a list of all the devices connected to this network. Now here, it's only saying that it's saying there are two devices. The second one right there is the Apple device, which is my Mac. Then the first one right there is my target device. Now there are only two devices connected to this Wi-Fi network. So obviously the first one is my target device. So let me just type in sudo nmap. Now nmap is a very good hacking tool. It's used for scanning vulnerabilities. So let me just copy the IP and paste it right there, then click enter. Now Nmap will basically show me all the open ports that are, all the open ports in this uh, device on this is device on this device's network. So right there we can see TCP is open. Um, port 5800 TCP is also open, and the last one port 5900, which is VNC, is also open. So let me just choose to exploit the open VNC port. Let me just type in VNC server. Oh, sorry, VNC viewer. Once I type in VNC viewer, let me just copy the target IP address. Let me just paste it there. Once I paste it there, all right, it needs a password. So let me just type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me click OK. Oh, it's failed. It's failed. Let me just try again. Let me try. Uh, let me try something like one two one two one two one two. Click enter. All right, it's failed. Now, the reason why it failed is because I don't know the password to this v this device's uh, VNC server. So that's where Hydra comes in. So let me just type in Hydra dash p pass list. Now pass list is basically a list of passwords. You can try. So passlist.txt and then the name of the service which is vnc full colon slash slash then the IP of the device. Now Hydra is a brute forcing tool. If you try it, I'll make a video on that later on. Then type in the port which is 5900 and then click enter. Now once you click enter, Hydra is going to brute force the VNC server to see which password actually which password it goes for so now you can see eight login tries there's the host which is the target ip address then that is the password andre 3000 so andre 3000 is basically the password to this target device's vnc server so let me just type in vnc viewer yeah vnc viewer then let me just copy the target ip copy this paste it right there then click enter so once i click enter it will ask me for a password let me just enter andre 3000 the password that we got from hydra and then let me click ok all right so we have officially hacked into the target's dev target device so now we can see literally everything that's happening on this device and we can even control anything yeah so that's basically it i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe and leave a like a lot of you are asking me how to download zed fisher don't worry i'll make a video on that very soon and i'll also make a video on how you can download parrot os on both windows and also on mac so keep following the channel have a great one